Hey everybody, it's Laura with Little Lights by Laura, and I thought I would show you guys um, a tutorial today that is kind of um, start to finish design all the way to finished product um, application. So um, here we go. This is a glass block that I'm doing. It is actually a children's nightlight. This is how Little Lights by Laura started. Um, and I'm basically going to show you guys how I use my um, tutorial on using the little um, color rectangles to align your vinyl so everything stays in line. So here we go. I'm going to start drawing a circle and I'm, I'm not really going to explain what I'm um, doing per se for the design because you'll see it come together in the end but I'm going to walk you through how I do each piece of it. So um, in this particular one I'm going to use the polka dots that I showed you guys in the um, monogram tutorial at the very end so I just changed my my line basically and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna grab my circle tool again because I'm also gonna do some polka dots around here and the reason why I keep deleting these circles is because I'm letting go of my shift key too soon so I'm holding my shift I'm clicking my mouse and I'm letting go of my mouse then I'm letting go of my shift and the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm basically um, making my circle perfect so it stays even and I'm just kind of placing these wherever I want um, because when it comes to um, the application part I want them to be kind of um, sporadically placed so see how that went crazy it's because I let go too soon so shift mouse click let go of my mouse let go of my shift if I weren't using my shift key I get really crazy looking circle so we don't want to do that so I'm gonna go shift mouse click, let go of my mouse click, let go of my shift. So that's the trick to that. Okay, so that's good enough for me. So now I'm just going to put the name right in the middle of my circle. And I'm going to change the font. And make it bigger. And then I'm going to select my circle and the name, and I'm just going to go up here to my align tool, and I'm going to align it in the center, and then align it in the middle. And if you notice here on some of these letters, they overlap. That's perfect for me. I'm just going to click on it, and I'm going to right-click, ungroup, and then I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to weld it together. And that's going to make my vinyl cut nice and easy. And then I'm going to make it a compound path. Okay. Then from here, all I have to do is go through and choose my color. So I know, for example, I want my polka dots and a couple of other polka dots to be a specific color. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to choose like this mint green kind of a color. And the only reason why I'm doing this is because um, this is going to help me um, cut things out easier. So I'm actually going to undo this real quick because I want to um, not select my circle because I don't want my circle to be filled in. I just want my polka dots. And this really has nothing to do with anything other than um, when it comes to how you're going to um, cut out your design. So now I'm going to choose everything else because this is all going to be another color. And I'm going to I might end up moving some of these polka dots, but that's beside the point. Make sure you make your line color and your color of choice the same. All right. So I'm just going to kind of move some of these guys around. Maybe make this smaller. Let's delete that. And this is literally just, I'm just kind of changing this up a little bit just to give it a little bit different of a look. So, and I'm going to copy this guy and paste him down here because I want to do a second one down here. Okay, so good enough for me. 
Um, now what I want to do is um, I'm actually going to draw a little rectangle up here and I'm going to ask it to center it in the middle of my page. And then the reason why I do that is because I like to use my arrow key and I like to draw it all the way to the top. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to, for now, I'm going to just arrow key it to the right. So I'm going to select this color and I'm going to make this the same exact color as the mint green. And then I'm going to do the same thing here and I'm going to make it the same color as that hot pink. There we go. Then I'm just going to arrow key right back to how I was and line them right up. Okay. That's all there is to it. Then you can go here, you can go advanced, and you can choose if you want to cut your pink out first or you want to cut your green out first, whatever you want to do. Now, in this particular case, I went ahead and um, I made my design much smaller. So I'm going to show you real quick. I'm just going to take all of this and I'm going to make it a much smaller. I'm going to actually go in here and change my sheet size to 5x5 five because five, that's the size of my glass block. And I'm going to scoot everything around, which you don't have to do this. I'm just showing you how I like to cut down on um, my cuts. Oops. I'm just holding my shift key to select these. My goodness. There we go. And I don't want that. I just want these individual polka dots. And I'm just selecting them all and moving them. Okay. So now I want to move both of these little um, rectangles to the top and I'm gonna just scoot them up with my arrow key. The reason why I do that is because I still want that to stay centered. Okay, so now that I'm on my size paper that I know I'm gonna be using, I'm just gonna kinda make my circle a little bit bigger to use up more space in my block. And I'm gonna go ahead and select both the polka dots and the name and I'm gonna go back to my align tool and I'm gonna put it in the center and I'm, then I'm gonna move it to the middle. So the other thing you can do is you can center it to the page and then that makes everything nice and neat right where you want it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, because I like to cut everything out at once because I'm impatient, um, you can use the color trick like I showed you or you can go through and select everything pink and leave everything green. So here we go. I'm going to hold my shift key and I'm going to click everything that is pink, including my little rectangle. There we go. Now I'm just going to arrow key to the right and I'm just going to move it to the side. Bear with me. Perfect. Now I'm going to change my cutting mat size or my page to, let's see, 10 by 5. So what I'm going to do now is I'm on my cutting mat, I'm going to lay down a piece of mint green vinyl at the top that's going to cover these first five inches. And then I'm going to lay a second piece of pink that covers inch marks six through ten. Now, if you want to just be extra safe, you can kind of scoot all these down a little bit further. It doesn't matter because at this point in time, you could go all the way to 12 if you really wanted to and scoot everything down because basically what's going to happen is you're putting two separate pieces of vinyl on your cutting mat. So this is just cutting down your time of reloading your mat each time. So that's that. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, cut this all out with my silhouette and then tune into the next video below to see how I do the application.